I started uh, actually working with rescue cats in the late 60s. Didn't actually become a registered charity until 1986, but in the beginning, there were so many um, stray and feral cats in London, um, I decided I was going to try and do something about it. One of the things we're really struggling with is, is space to put animals. Places to put animals that come out of intensive care and need to be put somewhere so that it frees up intensive care space. We're struggling all the time. Where can we put this? Where can we put that? In drip pumps, every animal really should have a particular flow rate of, of, of IV fluids because every animal that's in here that's critical needs fluids and it needs to be continuous and that's what drip pumps do. Usually at a hospital they'd have one per animal. We're doing, we're constantly prioritising, trying to get it, give it to the most critical. We're constantly swapping over because we don't have enough drip pumps. We, we, we desperately need it at least for the critical patients which at the moment we're not getting.